Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We'll continue with the same uh, document, uh, which is practice questions on topic one and topic 2.1 uh, uh, motion. This is the last uh, document I shared with you last week. Uh, I'm going today, I'm going to solve question number 14 from the document. It's on topic 2.1. So we have here a girl, her name is Lucy. She stands on the edge of a vertical cliff. Lucy throws a stone vertically upward. You see she has a stone here in her hand. She throw it vertically upward with a velocity, initial velocity, 15 meter per second. The stone leaves her hand with a speed of 15 meter per second. At the instant her hand is 80, meter above the surface of of the sea so from here till here i have what 80 meter from her hand till the surface of the sea air resistance is negligible acceleration uh, of a free fall is 10 meter per second we need to calculate the maximum height reach by the stone measures from the point where it's a thrown so the maximum height till till it reach up. So how are we gonna do uh, this one? This is just remember, this is motion in one dimension, which is in vertical dimension. We have two types. If I throw, if I have an object, I throw this object up. So initially, I will throw it with initial speed. It will be maximum. It will reach the maximum height at the maximum height. Final speed. It will stop eventually for a while before it turns and changes direction. It will be zero. Everything is positive. So Y is positive. Initial speed also is positive. The only thing that is negative is acceleration. Due to gravity, it will be negative 10 always toward the ground, negative 10 or negative 9.81 meter per second square. If I have an object and the object at the maximum height and the object is falling down, okay? So the object falling down, it will start with initial speed zero. And then what will happen to its speed? Here, the speed is start decreasing, decreasing till it reach here zero. Here, it start with initial speed zero, and then the speed is start to increase, increase till it reach the maximum speed here down. Everything will be negative. So this is negative. Why also since it's moving down, it will be negative. Acceleration due to gravity is always negative, which will equal negative 10 meter per second square or negative 9.81. Okay, let's go back to uh, our question. So here I'm gonna write the given first. I have the initial speed. Initial speed, it's 15 meter per second. This is moving up, it's positive meter per second. I have the velocity final will be zero. It will, it will increase, decrease the velocity till it reaches the maximum, the, the minimum velocity here, zero. I need y, the distance from here till here. Okay, what will be? And of course, the total distance, it will be all of this. Okay, so I need y, what is y? And it time also, I don't have it time. Acceleration due to gravity is negative 10. Five variables. Always I should have five variables. One, two, three, four, five variables. So we're going to write the equation. V final square equals V initial square or U initial all in Y direction plus two acceleration times Y. V final is zero. Initial is 15 square plus two Acceleration is negative 10 times y. So a total uh, uh, height here y, it will be 11 meter. Distance y, it will be the distance from, from, from her hand till it reached the maximum height. 
This is why. Total height will be this distance plus 80. So it will be 11 plus 80. So total height, total height will be 11 plus 80. We saw this uh, question before in our notebook. Just refer to your notebook. I'm going to do it today with also different method. This is the first method, similar to the method we did during the class in your notebook. And I'm going to do it also with different method. OK, now second part of the question. Determine the time for the stone to reach the surface after leaving Lucy's hand. So let's start the given first. I have the initial speed. It will start with with here. Initial speed is moving down. The object is falling down, so it fall down with initial speed negative 15. It's changed the direction meter per second. And I have y. Now it's moving down when, when, once it reach Lucy's hand. So y it will go all this distance. All this distance, which is what? Negative 80. So why it will be negative 80 meter. Acceleration due to gravity is negative 10 meter per second square. I don't have T and I don't have V final. I don't have it, should be maximum. So we'll use this formula. Y equals U initial Y direction times T plus half acceleration in y direction t square negative 80 will equal negative 15 times t plus half negative 10 times t square now simplify you should get 5 t squared up after you simplify and multiply by negative 10 both side plus 15 t minus 80 should get you zero we solve this one, you can, it's a quadratic equation. Just log these values in the calculator. You should get two values for T. I'm gonna choose the biggest one, even though it's negative, but because it will take more time to reach the ground. So T should be 5.7 second. Take the negative value, but move the negative because times should ne never be negative. Now, what is the other way? This is method one. Method two, it's, it's a little bit longer, but I like actually uh, uh, using this method. First, I have I can divide the uh, motion into two parts. First, I need to find y when it reach the maximum height from here, from Lucy's hand till it reach here. We what is the value of y? This one we calculated from the previous part of the question. We use this equation V final square equals U initial square plus 2A times Y. V final, V final here, uh, this is the ball. V final is zero. U initial is 15 square plus 2 acceleration is negative 10 times Y. And we got Y is 11.25, which is around 11 meter. So this is Y, 11 meter. Okay, now what's the time? It time, it will, I need a time here. What will be a time? So I'm going to use the other equation. V equals U plus acceleration times T. V final is zero. U is 15. Acceleration is negative 10 times T. So a time will be 1.5 second. OK, this is stage one. So here, let's write all the given here. I have. Y this distance from here till here is 11 meter and a time it will take to reach uh, the maximum height. It's 1.5 second. Now, stage two. Stage two, when it fall down, the ball, it fall down the whole, the total distance. Total distance, which will be 11 plus 80, 91. 
91. So a total distance Y is negative 91 meter. I need to find a time. What will be? Uh, uh, what will be the time when it fall all of this distance down? So we're going to use this formula Y equals U initial in Y direction times T plus half acceleration T square negative 91. It will start with initial speed because it's free fall. Initial speed U it will be what? Zero. So this five, this is zero minus five T square and you find T 4.3 second it total time it's this time plus the time when it fall down so this time i'm going to call it t1 plus this time is t2 so t total will be t1 which is 1.5 plus t2 4.3 which will give me 5.8 second this is another method and it's up to you you can use either one of them both are correct.